What's going on everybody? Jackson here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Mine's a little snowy as you can see. And to those of you like me with a four wheel drive vehicle and an attack on your manhood if you don't go out in the snow, be safe ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be going out shortly. Do I have anywhere to go? No. I just want to go drive in the snow. I don't know. There's just something that gets me excited, gets me feeling good about being in my truck and driving in the snow. I feel like a superpower, like a Tony Stark-esque, like I can do this and a lot of people can't right now. I got freaking problems. But anyway, the reason that most of you are here is because you want my one secret as to how I have completely changed my life from being a fat, miserable loser who was flunking out of college and hating every minute of life to having a much better quality of life now hopping on YouTube and helping you guys kind of do the same thing. Jackson, why would we listen to you? You don't drive a Range Rover, you don't have millions. Why, why do we have to aspire to you? Guys, I am a very fulfilled human being and whether you're chasing money or whatever extrinsic motivation that you think that is gonna make you happy, I know how to help you guys be fulfilled and I get to wake up fulfilled every day regardless of how much money I make and you make. So what I'm going to share with you in this video is an activity that I did when I was in seventh grade that I didn't understand until I was fat and I decided to take it a lot more seriously. You're going to want to stick around for this one because I encourage everybody to do this after this video is done. You're going to have actionable insights. And guys, before we dive into the main topic of this video and do stick around, it's going to be game changing for most of you. My mother and I just launched our podcast called The Happy Grind Movement, so be sure to check it out in the first link down below. First episode, we're diving behind the scenes of my weight loss transformation, and it's a lot of information that you guys don't know because I haven't talked about it on the channel, and it's a really good listen. You should check it out. And you already know that we got our Transparent Labs mocha latte, because let me tell you something, I drink my coffee black, and it's really convenient to throw a scoop of this bad boy in there and it's basically just protein coffee. It's a no-brainer and be sure to remember to use code Jackson at checkout Transparent Labs. Save yourself 10% and support your boy because I'm always here for you guys. All right guys, so listen up. When I was in seventh grade, I didn't know why, but I was like kind of obsessed with personal development, but that wasn't even really a term yet. At least in my life, it wasn't a term. So to sum that up, I was always trying to be the best version of me. I was a really intense swimmer at the time, and I was always chasing the best version of myself. And considering that I wanted to chase the best version of myself, I had to define what that was. So what I did, and the big kicker of this video is I made Super Jackson. I know it sounds corny, I know it sounds cliche. I'm not the brightest color in the uh, crayon on box. So what do I mean by building your super self? It sounds pretty self-explanatory, but it's actually mind-numbingly simple. So building your super self is a three-step activity. So what I did when I was in middle school and the first step of building your super self is you've got to draw it out. And when I say draw it out, I'm talking mind-numbingly simple. And what I did was I labeled all of the limbs all of the things that I wanted to be in my life, all of my core attributes that make Super Jackson, Super Jackson. I remember picking like faithful, hardworking, happy was a big one. And what this unknowingly allowed like 12 year old Jackson to do is now I had a target, right? I think we're all trying to chase our best selves, but we don't necessarily have a target. So we don't know what we're really trying to be. We just know that we should be better than we are now. And when it's undefined, you can't ever hit the target. You're like shooting in the dark because you don't have a target to aim at. You know what I mean? Now step two of making your super self is for the Marvel fans out there. After you've drawn your stick figure and you kind of have an idea of like, okay, I labeled all the limbs kind of what I want just to kind of better understand your super self. An activity that I have my clients do who work with me for life coaching or just some of my friends if they're interested in improving their lives is you need to pick your six infinity stones. So to those of you who are unfamiliar with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the six infinity stones were the stones that Thanos, the main villain in the movie, was trying to get his hands on that he needed to fill his gauntlet with in order to wield an unreal amount of power that would make him basically the most powerful being in the entire universe or universes, everything. You may not be able to take on the Avengers with your Infinity Stones, but you will be able to live your absolute best life because you're gonna be aligned with exactly who you wanna be. So what this activity is, is pick your six Infinity Stones. Similarly to drawing out your super self, I want you guys to pick the six core attributes or character traits that make you, you. And I'm not talking about you right now and all your limiting beliefs and you taking a dump on yourself. No, no, no. I'm talking about your ideal self. And for each infinity stone you choose, it's really important to ask yourself why you want that in your life 
and make sure that it's an intrinsic motivation. So it's coming from what you actually want and also ask yourself how you're going to do that. So for example, my six infinity stones were happy, fit, faithful, creative, confident, and wise. And I think my favorite thing about this phase is First of all, it's very similar to phase one, but it's just kind of less visual and it's more so you writing it out. And what this does for you is it just gives you this amazing image of exactly what you're trying to chase, like collecting your infinity stones to give you the power. I know it sounds like ridiculous and you're like, Jackson, this is way too lame to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. It literally gives you the power to be your super self, just like that, that infinity gauntlet would. I know this is a stretch guys, but trust me, I literally used this to transform my life. Now phase three is the actually fun part. I really, really, really enjoy doing phase three myself and I enjoy helping my clients and my friends go into phase three. And phase three is gonna be pick your people. We all have different role models and idols that we just kind of like admire and have gotten us to want to build this version of ourselves. We all have something that we're shooting for, an image or a character. So what you're gonna do for phase three is go on Google and type in some of your favorite characters. Some of the characters that have given you the inspiration to be who you are or inspire you to want to be more like them and make a collage of them because for phase three, you now have all of your core attributes that you want about yourself. Now, what I like to tell people to do is just assign them to a character and then paste it all into a page. It doesn't have to be all of your core attributes. I don't do all of them just because, you know, pictures don't really add up and I just wanted to keep it simple. But for example, mine, I know there was like Arnold Schwarzenegger, there was Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man and that confidence. And with Arnold Schwarzenegger, it was more so like fitness. And then there was Uncle Iroh, you guys know I love Avatar. And I had to throw Bruce Springsteen in there because of course, you know your boy plays guitar and specifically a Telecaster. That's because I always admired Bruce Springsteen's style. So guys, after all three phases are done, now you've got your own kind of drawing if you're an artistic kind of person and you labeled the limbs and you did whatever you wanted there. You've also determined your six infinity stones that make you super fill in the blank. And you've got a collage of inspirational characters that have enlightened you to want to be the best version of yourself and you kind of chase them. They give you something to aspire to. And now what do we do? We, now you have a target. You have a target to shoot for and you have a target that you're always kind of thinking about. You're always chasing that super version of yourself. And the best part, you're never going to be that person. Look, that sounds dark, but that's the beauty of it. You're never going to be fully aligned. There is no finish line. You're never going to be 100% there. You might be 90. You might even be 95 but you're never gonna be 100% there. It just gives you something to chase at all times of the day, every single day, so you can ask yourself every day, every decision you make. Would Super Jackson do this? Would Super you do this? Remember when you're making this to make sure that it's coming from an intrinsic place. It's actually what you want to be and you're intrinsically motivated to do it, not what other people expect you to be. So this is an opportunity to ask yourself the question when you're doing this, is this actually who I wanna be or is it who I feel I should be? Really deep one, guys. I want you to really chew on that. In my experience of life thus far and in the mentors that I've had and the people that I have kind of studied from afar, the more aligned you are with who you wanna be, the happier you are. Not the more money you make, not the more external validation you have from chicks, money, and big muscles, but how much you like yourself. That's what really defines how good your life is. So guys, on that note, I know this was kind of a deep one. Sometimes I love doing deep videos with you because no matter how my channel changes going forward, no matter how the content that I put out evolves, I want you guys to know that I'm always here for you and you are the reason why I got on YouTube and started taking my time to make these kind of videos. So on that note, if you're not subscribed already, then be sure to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube family. We all truly are a family here. And if you subscribe, you're gonna be that much closer to becoming your super self. If you know somebody who needs this video, then do me a favor and just send it to them. Send it to them and be like, yo, this crazy dude who kind of yells at the camera and uses his hands a lot because he's like really Italian. He's talking about this super self thing that I think you could probably benefit from. I'm not in this video for the views, guys. I'm in this video for you. So on that note, as always, let's keep getting better together and let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.